obviously near a year to the day, um, you know, 20 yards away from where we're sitting now, an incident took place. Kind of talk us through that. We was down probably about 2-0, 1-0 at, at the time. Um, um, yellow cards, yellow, red cards flying about in the game. It's getting a bit hostile, really. Um, I think there was a foul on one of their players right in front of me and um, you know, everyone's rushed over, like ref, yellow card, da 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 and um, we're going back and forth with some of the players and I'm just like, oh, shut up to, to the boy, Cadella. Um, and he, he said, shut up back to me. And then I was like, oh, like, oh, big man. Yeah. You know, like, just bantering it off, you yeah. know. Nothing ever happens on the pitch, you know. Done that to me a few times, yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, he, he was like, oh, one second, my friend. Um, he came over, whispered what he whispered into my ear. And um, yeah, I, you know, I reacted. Um, I think everyone can see the shock in my face when it happened. And yeah, it's my teammate, Bongani Zungu. He was there and he heard it. So um, yeah, you know, so many different emotions run through my head at the time. Probably just like anger, embarrassment in a way, which is, which it shouldn't be, you know, yeah. we're on a football pitch. Um, you know, if, if I heard it from a fan, I'll take it in a bit more, but um, like a player is just like, how should that happen? Why yeah. should that happen? It shouldn't, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, a lot of different emotions going through my head. The manager spoke to me after and he was saying to me, um, like, do you want to come off the pitch? But mm -hmm. it's like, I couldn't hear him. He kept on shouting my name and I'm right next to him, but I couldn't hear nothing yeah. and I was just like, you know, tunnel vision and I was yeah. just like, what is going on? Like, how did that just happen? Like, yeah. on TV, like, my family, my friends are watching, like, it's embarrassing, like, how someone just said that to me and got away with it, do you yeah. know what I mean? You spoke about embarrassment as well. That was one of the words you used the, the kind of the first time round and I think it's important for people, like, to know that, I, I know what you're saying because I've been racially abused online, never on a pitch, that would be, I think, a whole lot worse, mm. you know, and that's not me playing down being racially abused online or anything else because from one professional to another. But the word embarrassment, it's almost like we're embarrassed to be the colour we are, like why? It's mad. And, and why should we ever feel like that? We shouldn't and it's weird because I remember thinking like, why am I, why am I feeling like, yeah. I was so angry and like, I was like, wow, I feel a bit embarrassed. Like, yeah. but why am I feeling embarrassed? Like, I'm here like everyone else playing the game. Like, yeah. why am I feeling like this? But I don't know, at the time it was just how I felt and those, those whatever ha moments made me lead to that moment. So it was yeah. like, I don't know, it was hard to explain, man. Was it ever something that, you know, you ever thought would happen on a football pitch? No, definitely not. Even with all the stuff that's going on oh, social media, no, you never no, thought no, it would no, spill no. out? No, Like, like I said, it's different from a fan. Like, yeah. they're going to shout whatever they're going to shout. Mm -hmm. But a player, it's like, why? Yeah. And the fact that they were winning the game as well is like, why would you? No need, yeah. You're on, you're on cruise control, you're about, like, do you know yeah. what I mean? You're going through, why? Do you wish now that you, that you walked off the pitch? Yeah. Um, like I said, the manager was trying to call me and ask me, like, do you want to walk off the pitch? Like, yeah. I'll support you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, yeah, I kind of wish I did, did like, um, knowing it will put the competition in a place where it's like, what do we do here? Yeah. Um, do we kick them out mm -hmm. or do we give Rangers a bye or something? Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And it and it will put them in a situation where they've probably never been in. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Not many players have actually walked up. Few, but I think a few in the back in the day or, yeah. or so. But yeah, I, I kind of wish I did. So again, God forbid that is to ever happen. But if it does happen again in the future, you think you'd yeah. You know, if you had a clear mind, you, you would walk off. Yeah. The gaffer spoke to you and I think this is an important thing to speak about when you talk about reactions and you said you, you couldn't hear him. Obviously, people said stuff to you on the pitch. Can you kind of explain the difference between a racial incident and, you know, somebody saying anything else to you? Yeah, obviously it's different, you know. Um, I don't know if anyone would really have that feeling if you're not racially abused, like, themselves, you know. Um, yeah. Obviously, like... You know, I've played against you loads yep. of times, I've played against loads of boys, you know. 
we say each other it's like yeah, yeah. idiot you yeah, yeah. whatever yeah. like it's nothing of course like do you know what I mean yesterday I had someone saying oh you idiot and I'm yeah. like alright you're an idiot yeah, yeah, of <laughs> do you know what I mean yeah, it's yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. Um, but when someone racially abuses it's just a different feeling man um, I don't know man just rush of blood like anger disappointment everything man it's just yeah. so many different emotions going through your mind and when you get back to the dressing room how, how are you feeling um Probably in just disbelief, you know, shock. Um, a lot of people were messaging me like, what did he say? Like, what happened? And I think everyone's just trying to, like, everyone's like, oh, I know he said something because you're so calm, you, re you, you don't react like that, and da, da 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 And I was just like, I know the support is there. And um, even like after everything happened, I had everyone supporting me. I had like random people message me, I had, big players from Premier League and all over like messaging me which was which was really nice and um, yeah I had loads of support you know my friends my family everyone around me which which was nice. Moving forward a little bit you you then go and play against against Celtic um, Scott Brown comes from from his half to, to obviously come across and obviously show his, his support now how did how was the feeling when that kind of happened? Yeah you know um, I guess a nice feeling you know um, one player to another, just respect really. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I appreciate it. Mm. And um, yeah, that, that's about it yeah. really, yeah. I know you started out at Arsenal as well, and then obviously you know, they drew Arsenal in the next round and the Arsenal players kind of took the knee, um, et cetera, and they spoke extremely well about it. I know you're an Arsenal fan, so is, how did I, that That was feel? nice, that was really nice. Yeah. You know, I, I spoke to like a few of the guys, one of the boys who still works there and I was kind of close to. Um, yeah, he, he was just like, oh, like, the players really just support you and stuff like that. And it was really nice to hear. So, um, yeah, I appreciate that as well. It was really nice. How important was it to have Rangers as a club and, and oh, the fans 100%. behind you? Oh, no, everyone, everyone really supported me. Like, the fans done loads of stuff for me, like big banners and fireworks. It was like, like, really felt that. It was really, really, really nice. And um, no, I appreciate them big time, you know, teammates. Everyone was really supportive from the manager. Like the chairman, everyone, the whole club was just like really looked after me in that time, and um, you know, um, yeah, everyone just really supported me, and I enjoyed it. How was your mum that first call you had with her after leaving the pitch after the racial incident? Can you remember? Well, I had a lot of phone calls. Um, it was a late one, a uh, late call. Um, I got home late. Um, yeah, you know, she was upset asking me how I, how I am and you know just really trying to comfort me like oh you know um, you're gonna be okay it's all right like don't worry you've done so pro you've done me so proud da, 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 da. Um, so yeah you know she's she's always been there for me always supported me throughout my journey so yeah how does that make you feel knowing that someone has said something to you and in turn that's upset your mum yeah you know not nice. Like I said, I think that's what probably brings that whole embarrassment feeling and anger, disappointment, really. So it's not easy, but um, I know, you know, when I step on that field, I'm always going to try and make her proud. Do you ever have flashbacks of it, like in terms of, do you ever sit at home sometimes and, and kind of go back to and think, wow, how has this actually happened? Like almost like a nightmare. Um, I wouldn't say I have nightmares, but yeah, I thought about it definitely, yeah. like, oh, or more so maybe, like, when people ask me, or, like, mm -hmm. or, like, when I would go back to London, for example, like, people might not recognise me as a Rangers footballer, they yeah. would recognise me as, oh, you've been racially abused. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. oh, I saw you on TV, like, yeah. I remember going back um, to one of my friend's burger shops he owns, and he was like, oh, a guy come in, and he was looking at me, like, a couple of times, and he was like, you, you, you that guy like got rid and I was like yeah yeah, yeah. that's me like but he didn't recognise me for football he yeah. recognised me for that situation is it something that you live with in terms of social media you know, do you go on there from time to time and people will be you know in your inbox racially abusing you in regards to what happened you know in that incident yeah you know definitely you know when especially like let's say there's any kind of news that comes out about me or him or something like they'll like tag me or they'll DM me and like in my requests and stuff like that so it's every now and then it's probably way less than it was before but um, 
yeah, they still pop up and message me or comment on my pictures or whatever. So, yeah, that incident definitely, uh, i got to live with it.